this is something we've done before. It's the QFT, that's the thing where we watch and we question and we assess our questions and then we share. The strategy I'm using today is QFT or question formation technique. What QFT is, we consume a text. It could be a, a written text, it could be a video, an interview. We just consume it, we watch it or read it. You look like he's the CEO of some business. The country club set, the picture of smugness. The stereotypical of my family was rich. Then we just sit and we think of questions that it sparked within us, that it, it made us think of. We just spend an amount of time just writing those questions down. I'm rich now, pay attention to me. Now we're gonna spend the next 10 minutes producing questions that this sparked, either directly about this or anything this makes you think of. Our general rules are ask as many questions as you can. Don't stop to analyze, judge, or answer the questions. Write down questions exactly as you state them or as you come up with them. If you have a statement, turn that into a question. Like I feel like back then there's a, like a big divide between like the lower class where like we showed in like that picture in the beginning of the video and they um, there's like a really high class, but now like in the current day there's like a really big like middle class that's like present. Like, like people make assumptions based on someone's social class just by like what they wear. Like yeah. we saw in the video how this lady was able to tell if they belonged, not even if they belonged on the beach, but like if they belonged to like be surrounded by people like them yeah. because of what they're wearing. It's still segregation, so I think that over time class is slowly changing. I think it's because like, especially because like a long time ago, like people were like super divided because of their like race or their like financial state because like people did not want to associate with other people that like were not as like high class as them but then now I feel like it's more like spread out and like I don't feel like people discriminate as easily against people that like are part of lower classes. And then we just categorize our questions. Alright you wrote this question what kind is it actually and then what is that making the audience do? Alright so now comes the more difficult part this is the classified part the classify part is where we look at our questions and try to figure out what kind of questions they are, what they're asking our audience to do. So there's always, this question is asking one to, in order to do a thing. So, it's asking you to feel, it's asking you to hypothetically think, linearly think, convergently think, or divergently think. So what is it making you do in order to do what? To remember something? to understand something, to apply something, to analyze something, to evaluate something, or to create something. I think it should be evaluated because it's not remember, you don't understand, it's not apply. And then apply, analyze, um, and maybe understand. Yeah. yeah. How, did, how did your appearance impact someone's first impression of you? This is feel. I think also. it's hypothetically, hypothetically also the yeah. situation. I'd probably feel and maybe like converging because there's a lot of different factors that like are different yeah. situations from different people. Yeah. So they, it would probably when they've categorized all of their questions, we pause and we kind of judge like, oh, what are our default questioning patterns? What does that say about us? I want you to look at the kinds of questions that you've been asking. See what are your most common. What's that saying about your group? and the kind of questions you're asking right now by default, and maybe how could you make your thinking more complicated? These are kind of like either opinionated or like they're very easy to answer. So I feel like to make it more complex, we can make it have like ideas that are more debatable. So that they're um, kind of more arguable. And then we start to play with the questions and we start to transform them. We take, let's say, an open question, move to a closed question, or move to a rhetorical, or moving it to a loaded or a leading question. So I'd like you to pick any four, and I want you to transform them. Rewrite them so that they are a different kind of question. They're making the, the hearer do different things with their mind. So if you have one that's convergently think to analyze, you could switch that to convergently think to evaluate, or to divergently think to analyze. Okay. That's that would be convergent, convergently from divergent. They understand. They understand and what about? We evaluate. Then we say, all right, each group do a share out and uh, give us one that you've selected for any reason. So at this point, you should have three questions that you selected for sharing purposes. Now we don't have time to share all of them. 
but I'm trying to get each group to share at least one so we can get an idea of what everyone is thinking, but also to see the diversity and the complexity of what's in other people's minds. So we're going to start here, this group, you go first. Um, are outward appearances judged more strictly in relation to class and the person's possessions? Interesting. So we see this, this difference between the social and the economic. Good. This group. Um, why is it acceptable for people to judge and assume what social class a person is in? Is judging class different than judging something else about someone? I don't know. This group, what you got? Can someone have class without having a lot of money? Can personality define class? Now, all of this is always done to spark the thinking about something. Today, it will be class in America, because class is one of the major focuses of the text we're about to start, the novel we're about to start. I always use this as a beginning way to get them thinking about an issue or an idea. But this is a starting point, and it's always a good starting point to think about things. Why? Why is it like this? Why is always the most important question. So we're going to take these and we'll use even these questions in the, in the near future. So good job today, everyone.